Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. So we'll be discussing a civil servant that spent five million naira on his wedding ceremony. Six, Six million naira on his wedding ceremony mm -hmm. and retrieved or recovered or received 350,000 naira. Repatriated. Even, <laughs> even on top of the fact that there was a loan involved in this. So let me share my own personal experience. Not be today they don't start this matter. <laughs> because when I was a makeup artist and I'd done bridal makeup, I've done bridal makeup before. Mm. And they told me to wait. I'm not joking. I waited till, you know when you do makeup? You do makeup before the party starts. Yes. Mm -hmm. I waited until they were spray money. They gathered spray money to pay me my balance as a makeup artist. Oh, man. I've seen that as an MC. As they, I waited, and I was waiting and waiting. I'm like, I want to go. They say, no. They, I, they made me feel like I should wait because they want me to touch up the bride's makeup. Yeah. That wasn't it. Pay my balance, let me go. They said, no. I said, but it's already late until they sprayed money. The person that was helping them to count the money now counted and sorted and paid me balance for makeup from the money they sprayed. So if the wow. spray did not come, what will happen? Hmm. We also used to be a people that Nigerians used to buy from savings. We used to spend our savings. When you want something, you save. If you're getting married, you would save. Some people change their date so that their, their money would accumulate before the wedding. But now, because we now have this proliferation of loan apps, Mm. and opportunity to borrow. borrow, borrow. Mm. Our culture is changing. Nigerians now are living, they were like, oh, if I cannot afford it, you borrow from this, uh, um, can you call pay, another pay, another, as like, they are borrowing Different, from like yeah. four, five apps. Mm. And then people are now chasing you. You now say you cannot sleep. And I know somebody watching me will be like, Papa, you cannot understand it. It's because of your, because you have, that's not true. <coughs> it is a culture. It's a culture. So you, a, um, borrowing is a culture. Holding and saving is also a culture. It is no human being should borrow money to what is it, an investment yes. for free to flex. No, you are even the money coach. But let me tell you, should be let me tell you, an investment. we have different ways of raising this money. Okay. You, the some you raise by your reputation. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we were growing up, if your auntie ah, was okay. coming, let me take this call from please take call. I'll come back to you. Take call, please. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. morning. Good morning. My name is Lukman Ajadi Abdullahi. Oh, I'm coming from Ajibun, Papa. Good to have you. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Well, to me, I believe uh, the guy is looking for cheap publicity. Yeah. Uh, and, and he's a greedy man as well. Because uh, previously they said we should so, uh, cut our, our coat according, according to, the to material. Our, our material. <laughs> not, not according to our side this time around. So if you could raise six million, you cannot use that for business. Eh. What your, aim, your aim is to use it for uh, marriage. Even though if your girl is telling you you should do that, mm. and you are a sensible uh, man, so you, you should be able to advise her that we have a lot of things to do. <coughs> the idea of today, to raise one million is not even easy. So if somebody could help you with uh, which amount of money, mm. up to six million, and you use that for marriage, that means uh, it's not it's, it's not a serious guy. So I mean I don't I, 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 it's just it's it should be somebody somebody should help. Thank you so much, yeah. Nima. You were saying so I was saying the way to raise money without necessarily working for your wedding, building that relationship with the people around you early. When I was getting married, my parents do it. When their friends' children are getting married, one person is in charge of the cow. Mm -hmm. One person is in charge. We, there was one particular wedding. The entire firewood, there, there, there was no gas cooking camp. We bought a truck full of firewood to that family. It's your contribution. My parents used to do it. So when we're getting married in my family, it's normal. We're four People girls. You would just be seeing trucks coming. Mm. There was a long line of crates of wine for my wedding. Same person for my sister's wedding. They would just bring, this is what I'm bringing. Yeah. So growing up, you were not... A child of my parents to disrespect that relationship. You built on it. Mm. Those people knew you. Those my aunties that bought freezer. Do you know how many of their children I buff? <laughs> they, it will be failure of them. Not to buy. So not to buy freezer. <laughs> Eloni freezer. Exactly. It will be shame on them. Not to, mm. Some will call Eloni. Let me just pay. I do it now. I'll call my younger ones. Ah, well, auntie, this is your wedding. I'm paying for your makeup artist. Mm. Send me the bill. Mm -hmm. That's how you build it. But children of these days, they just relax. There was a particular wedding of a child I went for. I deliberately did not spray her. She was looking at me, waiting for me. Once they came, and see her on the chat table, I said, which chat table? No, I'm not your guest. I'm your mother's guest. Mm. Because this girl does, they will tell her, they go and greet and see. 
If you bring a bag, you come to the house in a dirty car, the brother too will not get up. They'll be watching when you're not living, auntie did not give me something. They were ways we built it. Mm. When our aunties were coming from work Absolute those days, we have carry bag. Yes. Our auntie wants something, it's not the, them who will do it. You were, wrong, you were resourceful. They will reward it at a particular point. That's because we are talking of the cultures. Mm. Yeah. Those things are missing now. I know, no, no. I, I mean, I need to even ah. celebrate some of my big uncles. Uh -uh. Let me take this call. Messi has called in from Egbeda. Because my wedding was community. Community wedding, Lama and Shingba. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Messi. Welcome to the yeah. show. Thank you. This is my first time calling. Yay! You're welcome to the show. This topic is very, very interesting. Like I would say, that guy actually does not actually know what he's doing. Because mm. you're going to borrow 50 million. And even if you're earning that 50 million per month, like I don't expect you to borrow or to spend that kind of money for an event and expect people to give you back. In this kind of economy that is Mogomoya, that is not ready. You hear Mogomoya, Mogomoya. People yeah. are coming to eat your food. Nobody is even caring. Mm. They don't even buy gifts anymore. No. Yes. So that guy, I would just say I'm sorry for him. But maybe uh, mm. Thank you, Messi. You know, I wanted to shout out to, uh, that he's still alive and he's doing well. Um, he's a former, was a former, my dad's elder brother, former commissioner of police in Lagos State, Akiyemi Odubela. He's a cow. We had bought cow, and a, two days to my wedding, we just saw cow. Mm -hmm. Ah, where did cow come from? Daddy has, we bought cow already. They said, ah, Daddy Agba. We call him Daddy Agba because mm -hmm. he's the eldest, um, in the eldest in my dad's, uh, dad, dad's sibling. family, sibling. So Daddy Agba sent cow. Ah. My aunt is, um, she was a former deputy controller, um, controller in immigration, sent rice. Like rice, uh -uh. there was cow, there was beans. As in, the, the wedding, my, my wedding ceremony was, at the, my, my oh, family, sweet. my dad's family, my mom's family, they showed up. It was, not, it was not a case of, we didn't even, actually, we didn't buy rice because we knew that oh, rice no was point. going to come. There was a lot of rice. Even after the wedding, I carried rice home because there was just enough. Those that could not even bring rice brought a lubo, brought... Now my mom is in yeah. Chakol Association. Mm -hmm. They brought every, there was communal support because we had cultivated those relationships Beautiful. ahead. Yeah. You know, my husband, that one, it was even, they were cutting check for him ahead of the wedding. It's important, and, and if you cannot have those relationships, do the one in your pocket. And yet, even with all of this one, so I did not do past myself. I went to the courts, JJ Lee, yeah, went JJ. to my church for church blessing. I didn't do ceremonial white wedding. I only did ceremonial traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. Not because I, did, I could not afford to, if I wanted to squeeze myself, but it wasn't an investment. There was still, the, the, the wedding is one day. Marriage, Marriage is a is lifetime. Time. The wedding is one day. So don't spend the entire money on wedding forgetting that you have a wrong. marriage. You, are, you started with an investment mindset. Uh -uh. You obviously had some money oh, that you could have used to show off. No. But you thought, oh, I'd rather put this money in investment. That's how marriage... Mindset should start. Just like what, just, just yeah. like what Tokwe said, I remember that till now, my father brags about the fact that he single-handedly did his wedding. Mm. But guess what? I had been born. <laughs> I am the third child. Mm. And he said because my mom is from Quara, my dad is from Lagos, mm -hmm. that Quara people feel that Lagos people are never serious. Mm. So he decided to show them, you know, this perception about Lagos boys that they're never serious. They don't have one wife. Are you that you're from Quara? <laughs> like young girl. He married my, my mom at 19. They met at 19. So I think after like 22, 23, mm. she has had me. Mm. Then they did that proper wedding. But I see that glory in his eyes that he says like in his words, Titi con glass cup at Ishibi, a mini mora. Yeah. That he didn't want that quara people to say, oh, it's what's that brought a luba for them. Yeah. If we didn't bring a luba, they wouldn't have had a mala. <laughs> so he had had that plan with my mom. That, that okay, uh, you know what? I can't afford it time. now. But give me time, mm. I will do that wedding mm -hmm. proper, which he did. I remember that I was at Ebute Meta. I still have pictures there. I think I was about five years mm. or so, but I still remember that picture. Mm. And now this is where it also comes from. Yes, religion is one thing to say, okay, we want to go into marriage. You have to solidify the union before you begin to have you know, children. Religion does not support party. You. No, religion no is I'm, not saying, party. I'm not saying party. The fact that, okay, it's not everybody that can go my father's route mm. and say, okay, let, but we've seen it. People have been together for 10 years, oh. 15 years. I've anchored weddings where they have children, three, mm. four children, and they decide Before. to now spend lavishly mm. on that yeah, wedding because they that. planned for it over the years. Mm. And I the man is comfortable that. enough to say, okay, you know what, it's not. But I know from the inception, they would have done something little, maybe just take a bright yes. price. Yes. At least you can to court. Do you understand? But yeah. this idea that if it's not big yet, we can't start. Ah, mm. no, I think we need to I'll change. come to you, Amaka, after the break. Let's take a quick break when we return. 
We'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.